What is up everybody? It's Jackson with Loveless Vintage. I'm doing another bins haul video for you guys today. I didn't get a lot of footage in the bins that I went to because it's a bins that I've never been to before. Uh, so I didn't want to step on anybody's toes or anything. By filming a lot in there, you know, I always like to feel out the environment before I feel like I can film stuff in there. So. I only filmed a few of the good things that I got and I don't really put anything in any order except for the best things are going to be at the bottom and then we hit a thrift after we went to the bins and I'm going to have that stuff in like a different little pile. So without further ado, let's just go through it and I'm going to start off with kind of least hype stuff and go into the hype stuff. So first off we have these white Converse low tops forget what size they are size eight and a half they're in pretty good condition they just need a quick little clean and I feel like on Depop I could at least get like 30 bucks for them so they were I think like two dollars from the bins I got this Tweety Bird like bucket hat kind of like springtime vibes it's from like 98 maybe like 15 bucks or so and then another Tweety Bird hat I think it's from the same year like 89 yeah no 98 not 89 98, the pink is really cool. It's like a flexible build. I thought it was a, it might actually be kids. It kind of fits tight on me. Doesn't look very good, but still cool. I think I could get like 15 bucks for it, maybe 15, 20. And then we got a reprint Green Day American Idiot Tee. Easy, like 10, 15 bucks. Got a Panic at the Disco band tee, size XL. It says praying for the faithless, right? Yeah, praying for the faithless. It's sick, I think the graphic's sick. Another like 10, $15 band tee. Got this neon colored, like evergreen state, Seattle, Washington. Might be late 90s, but still really cool colors and everything, probably 10, 15 bucks. A Western Division Champions Mariners tee. If you're in Washington and thrift, you find these all the time. It's just like the bread and butter baseball tees that you're gonna find, 1997, Logo 7, probably 10, 15 bucks on it. Got this Women's FIFA World Cup 99. It's kind of weird, in one of my other videos, I got a yellow shirt that looked a lot like this and it was dead stock with tags and had a big Adidas hit on the back. This one doesn't have one on the back, it's XL. Blue, so now I have two of these. I don't know, maybe 15, 20 bucks. This is cool. It's like a button up geisha themed shirt. Both of my friends I went to the bins with passed on it. Like one had it and then he didn't want it and then she didn't want it. So I was like, I'll take it. I think it's sick. So I don't know, at least 15 bucks on it. It doesn't have a size, but it looks like it's like a medium. Got this women's cut, Ralph Lauren size medium. Pony polo, it's purple. Figured I'd get at least like 15, 20 bucks on eBay for it. We're almost done already. It's not a really big haul. Early 2000s size large Nike embroidered check swoosh on the chesticle right there. 20, 30 bucks. I got this bootleg Nike Air shirt. This is the first thing I found. It's size large, made in USA. It's sick, honestly. The back hit is really cool. So probably 15 bucks on that. It does have some wear and some like little pinholes, but 15 bucks probably. And then these are my really good finds. So this one I found first and it's pretty beat. So I need to give it a good cleaning, but I got this 90s single stitch Beatles tee. Colors are really crazy. It's really dirty. Gonna have to give it a really good clean, but I've never found a Beatles piece. I don't really like the Beatles, but Still, nonetheless, really cool to find. I feel like once I clean it up, it's really dirty, but once I clean it up, if it cleans up pretty well, I feel like I'll at least be able to get like 60 for it. That's what I'm thinking. I was really, really hyped when I found this. It was some of the last bins that we were gonna be staying there for. And I was digging and digging and digging and like just put all my weight into flipping a whole pile over. And I just saw the giant tag sticking out and I pulled it out and it is this size XL Metallica 1998 North America tour shirt on a giant blank front and back print. The tag is, made me think it was like dead stock. The way the tag is, it's like brand new and the shirt honestly looks like it hasn't been worn either. I haven't even Oh yeah, it has that like, if you guys ever find a dead stock shirt and you pull it apart, 
and it like separates that's how you know it's like probably never been worn so it just did that i gave it the test so really hooked on this i saw comps on ebay all over for these guys depending on condition and stuff like anywhere from like low end being like 40 up to like 60 or so i'll probably put it on depop for like 60 bucks so that was a really good find those two finds were really really good i was really stoked on those and then we hit a thrift after it and i have a few finds from there so i'll show you guys i actually have some blanks i'll do those first just a jerseys xl navy blank that will be a gucci bootleg like these guys and then this guy doesn't have a tag but it's made in usa medium just forest green blank that was two bucks so good stock up on those i think i have like 40 blanks now so i'm probably gonna hit up my guy soon to make more of my gucci bootlegs i got this this is a Mirena blank xl it's nothing on the front except for this jersey films and universal hit on the sleeve you guys can see that and it's a movie promo to you for a movie called out of sight I've never seen this movie, never even heard of it, but it has some pretty big actors in it. June 26th, I think it was from the early 90s when I looked it up, and it was like 250. So I thought, why not? I didn't see any other ones online. So I thought, why not get it? Maybe someone wants it for 20 bucks or something. And then this, potentially a really good find, but I have to do a little bit more research on it. And it does have a hole in it, which is kind of a bummer, but it was $4, which is kind of crazy, but I got this. Ralph Lauren Rugby, like knit, I think it's wool, alpaca wool and merino wool. It's just a wool blend. But this tag, look this tag up on eBay. There's some crazy comps for like $300 sweaters. So it's kind of like a patchwork, like coffee, brown, tan, has some green and orange in there has a hole right here which is kind of a bummer it's kind of a decent size little hole but i was seeing these sweaters go for like a hundred to three hundred dollars so i don't know gotta do a little bit more research i thought for four bucks i would take the gamble even if i make like 30 40 bucks from it i'm happy but it could potentially be like a hundred plus dollar bill so that was really cool and then i didn't find this on that day i found this today i just want to throw it in the video i went to a local thrift today and I got this bootleg Louis Vuitton crew neck. I love my bootleg stuff. I was about to leave and then I saw this hanging on the wall and it didn't have a price and I said how much and she said 10 bucks. So stoked to cop that. I might rock it personal a little bit and then probably we'll put it on Depop or sell it on Instagram or something. But hope you guys like the video. Follow my Instagram, my Depop in the description and right up there. And I will be posting a Depop video soon, Depop related video and kind of like a, maybe a little bit of about me and uh, my goals for next year. So that's gonna be kind of just a personal video that I'll have coming out before the end of the year. And yeah, thank you guys. I'm really close to 400 subs, which is really cool to me. My goal for the year I think was like 100 and then it was 200 and then it was 300. So. Really, really, really thank you guys for watching the videos and hit me up on Instagram if you guys want anything in this video and check out my Depop and everything and peace out.